Hey, I'm a hiker here. Capital hiker. And we're in Colorado to find the highest point in the state, Mount Elbert. Come on along for the adventure. We started from the Mount Elbert North Trailhead this morning at 4.30. And here's a little look back at how dark it was earlier on the trail. It's 5.01. We have the lights of Leadville out in the distance. And you can see the before morning nautical twilight out on the horizon. We're expecting sunrise at 5.53 this morning. And our expedition start time was 4.30 on the nose. Capital Hiker and I have stopped for one minute. We got the sun rising, we're gonna capture it, but we're being eaten alive by mosquitoes. These things are huge. They're like hummingbirds. What do you say, buddy? Mosquitoes. Huge. We've been fortunate to have the moon out here this morning to help light our way up the path. We've got the sun hitting up on Mount Albert. It's getting ready to pop on the horizon for us. And here we go, we got the sun about the crest over the mountain. There it is, coming up above the ridge line. All right, new day in Colorado on July the 20th, 2019. And now I got Capital Hiker walking in sunshine. The first light of the day. We're coming up on the three mile mark from the trailhead. And we've just broken out of the tree line. See how barren is behind us? We're hoping to leave the mosquitoes behind us. We're about 11,900 feet, which means we got about 2,500 more vertical feet to go to get to the summit. And the mosquitoes are right with us. Give us a break. It's 7.03 and we've stopped for a little bit of a snack break and a hydration break. Doing well, we're probably about 12,500 feet up here. We've got a ways to go still. There's our first fall summit, and you still see the moon up above. We're making progress. Yeah, any words of wisdom? None. None, okay, it's amazing, it's got to show you out here. We are having to do, we did an earlier start at 4.30 because we're actually racing the weather. They're calling for uh, thunderstorms this afternoon here in uh, Leadville and on the mountain. And there's a 40% chance of rain by one o'clock. Uh, we're doing well, it's only seven o'clock. Hopefully uh, in about another two hours, maybe two and a half hours, we'll be on the summit. Turning around and coming back down, we'll be back in the tree line before 12. That should at least give us some protection if there are storms. I saw my way up here and I ran into George. Hey, how's it going? George is on Mount, uh, Mount uh, Wheeler Peak. Wheeler Peak over in New Mexico oh, yeah. two days ago. Now I'm on Elbert. Yeah, and this guy's 70. I'm really impressed with his shape, <laughs> how great shape he's in. So, Alrighty. take care, folks. All right, watch later on Bama Hiker. Well, after running into George, I got to the summit of Mount Elbert about five minutes later at 8.35. So it basically took me four hours and five minutes to get up here. Um, Capital Hiker's back behind me, making his way, and he should be here soon. Absolutely gorgeous, but you can tell off in the distance, there's a front coming in. So hopefully we'll be down off the mountain before any rain or any type of activity occurs. down. It's a hell of a so, climb. We're pushing on. It's a good workout. Fantastic view, but boy, we just barely made it in time to get a table for lunch. Yeah. And 
there's Leadville out in the distance where we stayed last night. As we're coming down, you can see back off in the distance here, we've got a front rolling in, and you can already see the rain starting to fall. That's the reason why we made this early start at 4.30. Our goal is to be back in the tree line before anything rolls into this way to avoid any type of lightning hazard. An update. Everyone is scrambling to get off of Mount Albert. The front has been rolling in. We've had at least five good uh, sounds of thunder and a real recent crack of lightning. We warned a couple people going up, hey, you might want to consider turning around. If you hear thunder, turn. It's not worth it. And boy, we had a massive crack of lightning. And guess what? Folks are turning. Come in the mountains, you got to be safe. You got to heed the weather. Even though the summit looks close, sometimes it's not worth that extra push to get there and get trapped in a thunderstorm. We're in a full-blown thunderstorm right now with hail hitting us. You got hail, it's a big storm, get off the mountain quick. We've had lightning hitting around us. Okay, we got a couple hiker coming down the hill. We have people scrambling to get down off the mountain. Boy, we got hit heavy with some really heavy, cold, wet um, hail. A lot of it was sticking to my clothing, and we're still having the sounds of lightning around the area. A couple good strikes on the mountain. You always want to get off and out of that clear, clear area as quick as possible. If you're not aware, if there's heavy hail starting to fall, that's a big cell and there's a higher potential for a lightning strike. It seemed like the rain and the hail moved in right around um, about 10.50. We started getting just first some heavy drops of uh, rain and then the hail started to fall. Well, Capital Hiker and I had some grand fun up there on top of Mount Albert, especially with the thunderstorm coming in on us. We hope you enjoyed this adventure and you'll come back. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And remember, if you're going to be out climbing and hiking, watch the weather. We thought we'd get up and off the mountain before the roll storms rolled in, but they came in about three hours earlier than we expected. So until next time, keep climbing, keep hiking. You got it.